Hello, this is the Carrot 50 Cal Pneumatic Carrot Rifle. It has a compressor here at the front, a timed valve, and it uses some PVC plumbing parts from the hardware store to shoot projectiles screaming fast downrange. Like I said, it was designed for carrots, but by using some 3D printed molds, we can create frozen bullets out of very unconventional materials. Today we're going to be shooting some milk bullets at double stuff Oreos and Oreo Thins. The premise of this is to determine once and for all which is better, the double stuff Oreos or the Thins. I personally have a preference for the Thins. I feel like they just have a better textural uh, contrast and I feel like the, the greater surface area lets the flavor come out a lot better. See, we have this entire stack of Oreos. These are the double stuffs. I feel that, you know, this milk bullet is just gonna have so much penetrating power, it's gonna go through the entire stack. Honestly, I don't think we're gonna be able to put enough Oreos in a stack to stop this milk bullet. There you go, that's a bullet made of milk. Wow, can you guys, maybe you can see the Oreo dust settling, geez. How many of those did we actually go through? Look at the ground, so much carnage. Quite a few Oreos are made through. The rest of these, I guess, just fell and cracked, maybe? I don't know. Look at that, though. We'll have to see that high-speed footage. I thought it was gonna just pummel through all those Oreos, and we have maybe a couple intact here at the back. I feel like the rest of these just got completely pulverized. We made some Oreo dust. We can make, what, a, an Oreo cheesecake or something with this. See these Oreos, I feel like you have so much Oreo, I'm eating one right now, you have so much more uh, cracker in there, or cookie rather, than the filling. I mean the double stuffs are the double stuffs, it's just like the cracker is going to get in the way of that bullet a whole lot more than any of that double stuffing. See how little stuffing this has? It's a chocolate type we decided to get today. But I feel like all of this cracker is just going to be so dense, it's going to stop that bullet or either shatter it. It might get maybe like halfway through before it just gets obliterated. Catch on it. Oh, look at that. That's our milk bullet. Wow. Look at all these cookies. I don't know if they got shattered because the bullet was going through them. I mean, this, the bullet didn't go through. 
But the rest of these, I guess the bullet might have taken a chunk out of that. Do we have any more of that bullet left? Where did that bullet go? We got Oreo dust everywhere. Not as much as the double stuffs, but yeah, I mean, this is just Oreos, Oreos, completely cracked. I don't think we have a single complete Oreo left. You know, I really prefer these, these thin Oreos, the Oreo thins, but this one might have to be revisited in the future. I don't know how to, maybe we'll stick them in a tube or something, like a clear tube to see it. Somehow we'll have to, to get these Oreos to, to really empirically determine, you know, how many of these that milk bullet goes through. I guess, wait a second, wait a second. These Oreos are thinner. So it's not by the number of Oreos. It's actually gonna be by the distance that that milk bullet penetrates through. Well, anyway, we'll save that for the future.